Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a warm and sunny day in Toyland. It was so warm and sunny, Noddy felt sure it was a very lucky day. Good morning, son. Good morning, car. You look a bit odd. Oh, dear. Your tire's flat. I shall have to pump it up. Anybody would think this was my unlucky day. Now then, young Noddy. Oh, ow, Mr. Plod. Ow. That wasn't very lucky. I've come to ask you where you was in the middle of last night, Noddy. I was in bed, of course. Why? Because somebody climbed into Sally Skittle's house last night and took <clears throat> some jam tarts, a meat pie, and a chocolate cake. Mr. Plod, you surely don't think I would do such a shocking thing? Well, Sally Skittle thinks you took <clears throat> her tarts and her pie and her cake. Have you anything to say? It's horrid of her to think that. I'll never, never take her out in my car again. Never. Never, 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 never. All right, that, that's enough never. Never, 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 never. Stop it, I'm running out of pencil. <clears throat> Now, she heard the jingling of a little bell as the thief ran away. And you're the only one in Toyland who jingles when he walks, because you've got a bell on your hat. I didn't steal from Sally Skittle's larder. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't, 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 didn't. That's enough didn't. Oh, look what you've made me do. Right. Now, I'll say no more for now, Noddy. But if you're not telling the truth, well, look out. Oh, no. It really isn't my lucky day. I'm afraid it isn't. It really was Noddy's fault. Good morning. Good morning, Jumbo. Would you like a ride in my car? Uh, oh. oh, dear. Why does everyone run away from me? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wobbly Man. Would you like a ride? <laughs> Why won't anyone speak to me? Morning, Mr. Sparks. Oh, dear. Perhaps Sally Skittle has told them I stole from her last night. Noddy? At least Mr. Plod is still speaking to me. But I wish he wasn't. Now then, Noddy, are you sure you were in bed all last night? Yes, I am. <laughs> Except when my feet slid out from the blankets and I got out to put them back. <clears throat> well, uh, Mr. Wobbly Man just told me that somebody with a jingling bell got into his house as well last night and took a box of ginger biscuits. <gasps> it wasn't me. I didn't go into anyone's house. I only hope you're telling the truth. Carry on. Of course I'm telling the truth. I forgot I hadn't sharpened my pencil. Nobody loves me. They all think I'm bad, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Noddy. Oh, I'm so lonely. No, you're not. I'm here. Tessie, I didn't hear you come in. Are you still talking to me? Of course I am. But people are saying such horrid things. You're not a thief. But they all think it was me because the thief had a jingling bell like mine. I know. But I think the thief was pretending to be you. And I've got a plan to prove it. Come on. Look. Dinah Doll sells bells on her stall. But, well, the thief must have bought a bell, mustn't he? 
So all we have to do is ask Dinah Doll who's bought a bell like yours. Oh, Tessie, how clever you are. I wish Dinah Doll sold brains so I could have one like yours. Hurry up. Hello, Dinah Doll. Hello, Noddy. I see you've still got one friend. Yes, he has. And we both want to know whether you have sold a bell lately that made a jingly noise like Noddy's. Like this. Oh, well, yes, I have. Yesterday, I sold one to Clockwork Mouse. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, hello. Yeah, what do you want, then? Why aren't you wearing the bell you bought from Dinah Doll? Oh, well, I'm not wearing it because I didn't buy it for myself. I bought it for someone else, yeah. Who? Don't shout. <laughs> oh, look, you've given me hiccups. Who did you buy the bell for? For uh, Gobbo, the uh, goblin. Gobbo? Yes. <laughs> he gave me a sixpence for buying it. And I've spent it all on this uh, ice cream. And now I feel sick. You can uh, finish it. Perhaps it is a little bit of a lucky day after all. If Gobbo is the thief, he might break into someone else's house tonight. And we might catch him. How should we know where to look? We can listen for his bell. You'll have to tie your bell down so that it won't ring and make us think you're Gobbo. That's right. Or we might catch me. Stay close to me, Noddy. Oh, yes, I will. Shh. Listen. Just like my bell. It's coming from Miss Pink Cat's house. <laughs> Look, there's a window open. We must hide under the window and see if Gobble jumps out. <laughs> there's something moving up there. Oh, oh, oh. Noddy, are you all right? Yes. And it is Gobbo. Oh. He's got his hat. Apples. He's been stealing apples and buns. <laughs> got him. Oh. Oh, good. Ow. Please be careful, Tessie. I'm sorry, Noddy. We need help. Look, someone's coming. Someone on a bike. Help. Please help. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Big ears. Oh, I'm so pleased you're back. It's Gobbo. He's stolen some apples and buns from Miss Pink Cat. <laughs> oh, he's getting away. Come back. Don't worry. I'll make sure we can see him. Ow. 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 Woohoo! Right, you bad goblin. We shall take you to see Mr. Plod. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. Now nobody will think I'm a thief. So perhaps tomorrow will be my lucky day. It's Noddy. Ooh, it's Noddy. Hello, Noddy. dear Noddy. How clever of you to catch the thief. Oh, we're so glad it wasn't you. <laughs> we never really thought it was. Do you think I could possibly have a ride? <laughs> I'm sorry. None of you can have rides with Noddy today. It's such a lucky day. We're going for a picnic. But perhaps tomorrow will be your lucky day. <laughs> Hooray, Noddy! Noddy! Little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy. Noddy. His tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Big Ears and Toby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy.